All right, what's going on guys? T Torres back here for another video. So in today's video, we're gonna be riding uh, EMX Brandon's uh, B2 e-bike, uh, 72 volt, 36 amp hour, running like 14, 15 uh, kilowatts. This is my first time taking it on the trails, but not the first time riding it. So skiddy up. This thing has a 17 inch front tire and a 14 rear. We'll put it in mode two, be kind of conservative. Oh, dude, it's a totally different animal <laughs> compared to the 300. <laughs> Letting him ride the 300. I think he got it on video, but I ate shit earlier whenever we were on the trails. There was just some really, really extremely soft, soft sand in that freaking... I don't know what it is about that trail, but the suspension is just too, too soft. It's got like a kid's rear shock, the front forks. I don't know. It was just... I was trying to stay up on the... Uh, up on the kind of like the berm of the of where the trail was and the swing arm went down and and so did i and the entire bike went down with me didn't hurt nothing but a little piece of plastic i ain't gonna lie this thing feels way more stable than that 300. i gotta get one i gotta get an e-bike that's got a 17 inch front tire and a 14 in the rear. He did a great job with this thing. You can see the voltmeter here. It's got a headlight, a rear brake. It's got a willy light on the bottom. Dude, this thing would be perfect to add to the garage. I need one. I need one bad, but they're not in stock. This is one of those bikes that you can buy the chassis and then you can put your own controller and battery in. So whenever I do get one, I've already got a battery from it. I got it a morgue battery. And then Brandon, I'll get his uh, EMX Brandon's uh, controller kit for this bike as well and it already comes with some pretty beefy uh, front and rear like off-road tires pretty sure out the gate with with Brandon stuff uh, there's a deer right there I think this bike on the drag, he did 60 miles an hour. That deer is gone, gone. Couldn't hear me coming, but he could hear, he could hear that Yoshimura exhaust. Oh my God, this thing is so much fun. Just being able to have, just being able to have like all the torque on demand is amazing. My little SX500 I built is awesome, but I don't think that old girl is ever gonna go to the trails unless on my stock wheels, I need to put some uh, trail tires on it it's just got street like sumo tires on it oh yeah man this thing feels oh there's another deer later dude i've seen some wild turkeys some deer i've seen a hog out here and of course he added this nice little little bolt kit and then with this controller kit, and, uh, it has the uh, kill switch here, and then the power level one, two, uh, and three, three being all the beans, and then one being the, the most tamed. I'm running his kit, his throttle kit, um, and stuff on my SX500. I just haven't finished, I just haven't finished that video yet. I'm gonna tell him, let's go back and turn around and go to that other trail. <laughs> hey, did you see where that one cut off and went to the left? I'll show you. I think I think that one will lead us back to the road. I think this is gonna be some more of that stupid soft stuff. <laughs> He's got it. Oi. Like I was saying, once these things come back in stock, I'm definitely gonna buy the uh, the rolling chassis and get one of them in here. We can definitely go do some more off-road riding right now. It's so crazy that I hit up a random friend asking him if he had somebody that could 3D print me a, uh, a far driver bracket and how I met Brandon. He literally lived like 15, 20 minutes down the road from each other. Small world. 
All right, that left was up here somewhere. This thing's been actually a pretty, I'm telling you, this thing feels more stable than that 300 I got with the 300 big bore kit. <laughs> Definitely needs a suspension upgrade. Whatever that was, just ripped the hell out of my, my collarbone. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna have to add one of these to the stable. And we're only in power level two. I don't really want to rip this thing on level three. All right, maybe just for a little bit. Such an audible difference when you're on level three with all the beans. Moto B2. I'm digging it. You know, most everybody out now just has a. All the other little street trail bikes only have, you know, 14s front and rear. This one actually has a true 17 front and a 14 in the rear. Oh, another down limb. Stay. Oh, oh, look at this. I caught the whole fucking spider web, bro. How's that even possible? I don't know, but I don't like it. Oh. I was hoping to break this thing. That's what I wanted to do. I've never seen the whole freaking spider web get caught on there. Oh God. What? Oh, you good? Yeah, we gotta get out of here, bud. Me and spiders and snakes uh, are not very good friends. Oh, God, that dude was just sitting there riding on my arm. Thing is so squirrely, man. I cannot believe that entire spider. I went through that web and it was just riding on my freaking forearm.
Jeez. All right, we should be coming back up to the road here in a minute. But anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a, uh, I can't say short video, but here's some longer format riding content on the all new uh, Bomb Moto B2 EMX edition. EMX Brandon will have all his socials linked down below. God dang it. Get it. Oh yeah, there's the road right there. Anyways, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Leave this video a big thumbs up. Turn on your post notifications. Leave a comment down below so I know that you watched the whole video or even some of the video. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.